Good evening. This is Pastor Don Hackley, Sr. once again from Grand Junction, Colorado with my son Donald. And my son Donald tonight is going to sing a song called By His Wounds, which is recorded by Mac Powell, one of the contemporary singers of Christian music of today. And before it does it, I'm going to read from Isaiah 53, verse 5. It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And glory to God, with his stripes, we are healed. And with that, I'm going to bring Donnie up to sing by his wounds. Come on down, Donald. He was pierced for all transgressions. He was crushed for our sin. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, by his wounds, we are healed. We are healed by your sacrifice and the life that you gave. We are healed for you paid the price by your grace. We are saved, we are saved. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, by his wounds we are healed. He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, by his wounds, we are healed. By his wounds, we are sacrificed. By the life he had gave, we are healed. For you pay the price. By your grace, we are saved. We are saved. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That's the only thing that can save us today. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ walked in this earth. 2,000 years ago, he walked in this earth to set the captive free, to let the blind see that the lame would walk. This is what he said the first time he went to the temple. And he told them in the temple that that day, that was fulfilled in their ears because the Old Testament prophesies it. Just like this prophecy in Isaiah 53, 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He went to that cross for you, me, and everyone everybody in this world. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. Listen to this. this. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in Him, it says, should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, before I became a Christian, and I was drinking and dancing and having a good old time, and I'd say, Hey, I only got one life to live. Let me live it to the fullest. And that's what I did. I thought I was doing good. And I thought I was having fun. But then Jesus came into my heart. Then someone told me about Jesus and what he did for me. And he did it for you. And I'm telling you, this is the only way to have everlasting life. For he that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. So listen to God's Word. <coughs> Read God's Word. God's Holy Spirit is calling you right now. God's Holy Spirit is calling all of us to come to Jesus, to look to that cross of Calvary, the hanging on the cross, on that cross, the bleeding, the side that was pierced for our transgression, the water and the blood came out of it. Can you not see this man Jesus died for you and me there's no other way to be saved but to come to Jesus he's coming soon and I pray this night that you accept him as your personal Savior for by his wounds we are healed and it says we can have everlasting life forever life thank you for listening God bless you and you could shut it off now Donald see you next time